going to try and do some scrapbooking again this morning and I have a little one who really wants to join me. excuse this but um, I realized that yesterday I had basically been chatting away to myself all day instead of actually chatting to you so today I'm gonna try and actually vlog that would be handy wouldn't it I've put you in the cupboard so I can chat to you I know the lighting is shocking it's pouring down with rain today um, I also can't remember if I've mentioned or not but it's half term which is why I'm not at work um, but yeah so like I said I totally forgot to talk to you yesterday i had been chatting away to myself all day like reminding myself to tell you things and then i forgot to actually film so yesterday i got up did some scrapbooking then i did some uni work my friend came around with her toddler um and then i went over to my mum's and then after that I went to uni so it was like go 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 all day which is probably why i forgot to film um but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to catch you up on what's been happening because I feel like this is going to be a big part of my life for the next couple of months. And normally I would be like, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to jinx anything. Um, but because I don't want to keep it a secret either, I am just going to tell you now. So we are selling the house. Um, Obviously last week's weekly vlog was entitled are we moving because we were having estate agents coming around to value the house and everything um, As a result of those valuations, we have decided that we're going to put the house on the market um, We have been to view some other houses and we've actually already found one that we like um, And Will has actually put an offer in on that house already um, So yeah, normally I wouldn't say anything because in all likelihood this will all fall through um, because that is what happens when you're selling and buying a house like more than likely it's gonna fall through um ours isn't on the market yet so it's unlikely that this other seller will accept an offer from somebody who is only just putting their house on the market so yeah i wasn't gonna say anything but i feel like either way we're gonna be selling the house so I just, I don't know, I just wanted to tell you. So, I have a little scrapbook haul that's just come through the door. Um, all of the new collections were recently added to the Hey Little Magpie online store. And I love Hey Little Magpie. Um, so I always keep an eye out for all of the new releases. But unfortunately, or fortunately for my bank balance, this time around I wasn't massively fussed about a lot of the new releases. Uh, there was one though, which is the Crate Paper Here and There collection, which is a travel collection that I bought a few bits from. I'm gutted because I missed out on the stickers because I dithered too long about ordering, so then I missed out, but it's fine, I'll keep an eye out for when they are back online. But I picked up these puffy stickers, which are from Dear Lizzie's new collection. Actually, I think these might be from an older collection, but they were still in my basket and I still loved them, so I just bought them. They've got um, little caravans, flowers, birds, houses, tents. I think this might be from the Stargazer collection. So they're cute. Um, my boyfriend wants to go to Wales at some point this year on a camping trip. So hopefully some of those tents will get used up. But the caravans will definitely be used. Then I bought the here and there ephemera pieces. You might have all the pieces on the back. There we go. And the reason that I snapped these up is um, I'm going to Sweden for a long weekend in May with some of my friends. We're literally just going for three days. Um, to Gothenburg in Sweden so I thought some of it would be good for that but also there's quite a few New York themed pieces in here and it's my mum's 50th in December 
and she keeps saying she would really love to go to New York and I would love to be able to go to New York with her. So just in case we go, I'm not sure how I'll manage to pull it off or if we'll manage to do it at all, but just in case we manage to go, I've snapped up this collection because I'll use all the travel themed stuff anyway, but I just love that it has New York themed items in there too. So that's that. Sorry, I didn't show you these, did I? These are the Wanda Thickers elements. Again, lots of travel themed phrases, titles, arrows, planes, love those. And then I got some paper. This is so cute. Oh, that lady's pregnant. <laughs> oh, quite a few of them are pregnant. I thought this was just an exercise sheet, but lots of them are definitely pregnant. <laughs> oh well. So I bought this because obviously it has a ton of women like exercising on here. And then this lady, she's got a notebook and this lady shop. But I bought it mainly for the exercising women on it and the dog walking women because I'm obviously trying to incorporate exercise more into my life this year. Um, I actually have just finished doing half an hour of cardio and I'm really tired. Um, but yeah, I did not notice the baby buggies and the baby bellies because I actually bought two sheets of this for my fitness album that I'm doing. But oh well, I'll just cover up the um, pregnant ladies. Um, but this is the reverse. And it is sheet number nine from the Pick Me Up collection by Pink Paisley. It's cute anyway, regardless of the uh, pregnancy element, which I feel really silly for not noticing. Um, also from Pink Paisley Pick Me Up, I bought the acetate. So it's not actually white, it's see-through, but it's on a white piece of card inside the packaging. And I'll probably put this into my travel album as a divider between countries. Really liked that. This was from that crepe paper here and there. I nearly always buy um, the three by four card papers because I love them and I thought, you know, it matches all of the ephemera and stuff. So it would be good for documenting Sweden. Obviously some of them are themed, like let's go to the mountains. I'm not going to the mountains. Um, so that's not necessarily relevant, but it's still a cute one to have. And like beach day, that won't be relevant for Sweden, but again, cute to have. We'll probably be using the Metro, so that one's a good one. Oh, and then the reverse is that. This one's called Photo Op. I also bought this one, which is Tour Guide. It's a world map, map with arrows on the back. I bought this because I think after this next trip, I'm gonna have to start a new travel album. I generally get about three or four holidays per album, depending on how long the holiday is and how many photos I take. I am not sure what he's doing. <laughs> um, so what I like to do is I like to have a map at the beginning um, and I, mark on which holidays are in that album and I thought this would be a great um, paper for doing that. Then I bought this one which is called Metropolitan and I bought this again purely for if we go to New York but if not I'm sure that I will find a use for it. It also has what I'm assuming is the subway map. Is that the subway map? Correct me if I'm wrong fellow um, scrapbookers who are American and um, but I think that's a subway map the same as like the London Underground map um and it has the like iconic yellow cabs on that side and then also for my travel album I bought this vellum um in fact I kind of wish I'd bought two of everything because I would use this in my travel album and in my normal album but yes this is also from the crepe paper here in their collection and it has lots of travel themed phrases and words on there and I loved the font um, and then lastly I bought the 12x12 chipboard elements because I can never resist these I always buy them even though they bulk out my albums that's the beauty of having a separate travel album I can put as much a bulk as I want in there and again they've got like the yellow taxi Rome Paris New York blah 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 so if I go to one of those places that will be cute um yeah 
suitcases, standard, love it. Hello everyone, it is actually now Thursday. I didn't film yesterday because we were very busy. Well, Will was poorly, he was off work, sick. Um, it was Valentine's Day, we didn't do anything for Valentine's Day because Will was poorly, but um, yeah. What am I even talking about? <laughs> I'm all over the place at the moment. So, Will was off work sick. I was cleaning the house because the estate agent photographer was coming over to coming over yesterday to photograph the house to put the house on the market. So that was why I didn't film because I was literally cleaning all morning until the estate agent came. He took the photos. Then I was like doing, I don't even know what. We had like a lazy afternoon. Like I said, Will was off work sick. It was Valentine's day. So we just like chilled out. Um, and then the house went on the market last night and we ordered pizza to celebrate. I'm st still feeling really blur about it. I feel like I will feel torn over it until we are moved into a new house and the new house is finished and nice. <laughs> I feel like I will have mixed feelings about it until we're in that position where we're in a nice new house that's all been done up as well. But anyway, I've got a ton of things to take to the post office. Then I'm going into town to meet a work colleague for lunch and then I'm hoping to go over to my mum's house. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. excuse my no makeup um I got up this morning cleaned out all the rabbits and I've been doing some uni work since then so I haven't bothered to put my makeup on yet I am dressed but I'm just <laughs> freezing I opened all the windows upstairs because we've got people viewing the house this afternoon and I wanted to have like fresh air circulating through the house and everything as soon as I start talking to the camera he has to come hi hi <laughs> um yeah so I wanted to have like fresh air through the house and everything and now it's freezing so I've put the heating on I've got my dressing gown on and I'm trying to warm up the house I've obviously closed all the windows but oh my gosh so cold <laughs> Hello, so I know I've been useless this week and haven't filmed very much but I don't really know why considering it's half term as well, I don't really know why but anyway. Um, today we got up early and went into town so that we could talk about um, adding more onto the mortgage so if we move um, we'll add more onto the mortgage. Um, I got my nails redone but I don't really like them, um, she kind of didn't do what I asked for but it's fine, I'm sure they'll grow on me. And then we've been sat around for hours discussing what to do and not been able to make a decision. So we're just gonna go out for dinner, early dinner, and then maybe see if Will's parents are in. Hey. Hey. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to our favorite diner. <laughs> we just threw my coat on the floor. Thanks. Thanks. What are you doing? Are you mad at me? Because I won't let you sit on me? Because I don't want your hair all over my nice pale coloured jumper? No. Are you mad at me? <laughs> are you mad at me? We are on our very quick Monday afternoon walk. I get home from work at about four o'clock on a Monday. And then I have to leave to go to uni at about quarter to five. So our Monday walk is a very brisk one around the block. And that is it. <laughs> Hello everyone. This is always a really bad angle for me. But I'm feeling like I have like no time to speak to you lately. So I am just doing a little car chat while I exit out of this car park. Um, it's Tuesday morning. I'm heading off to work. Um, I didn't get a chance to speak to you yesterday because my Mondays are so crazy. Um, I got a spot at that Dachshund Cafe that everyone's been talking about on Facebook. Loads of people were tagging me in it and I already know about it. Um, <laughs> 
I knew about it like as soon as it was publicized but like everyone was tagging me in it um, I didn't know if I was gonna manage to get a spot but I did um, so if any of you have Dachshunds and you are going to the Dachshund Cafe in Guildford let me know hey excuse how I look it is very very windy I've had to wait for our whole walk for the wind to die down so that I can talk to you but um, I realized that I don't really film many of the dog walks that I go on and there are some really nice places near where I live so I took the dogs out when I got in from work kind of regretting walking straight out the house now because I need to pee and <laughs> I'm hungry and I've got like half an hour till we're home so yeah we've just been taking some photos but neither of the dogs really wanted to sit and model for me today because it was so windy I feel like half the time they probably couldn't even hear what I was asking them to do but I got a few photos so yeah we're just enjoying the view this is the same place that we got caught in the um Archie's weeing on everything as normal um it's the same place where we got caught in the hailstorm <laughs> but um it's a bit sunnier today although it looks like there's a big cloud coming so we better get home puppies. we're um, just walking back down the like big country path to get back to where we live and um, we met another dachshund so far it's the only dog we've seen on the whole walk and how funny it was another dachshund um, and I think it was one of the dachshunds that came on a dachshund walk that I organized at the end of last year um, his name was Melvin he is very handsome wasn't he Winnie Archie liked him very much <laughs> Hey guys, it's Wednesday afternoon. I feel like I haven't actually spoken to you properly or given you like a proper update um, in a good few days. So um, there's been no interest in the house, unfortunately. We really thought that it would be snapped up by a first time buyer, but apparently the market is quite quiet at the moment. So we are crossing our fingers <laughs> that in a few weeks we will see some interest in the house. Um, getting us a little bit worried because we're sort of in the frame of mind where we really do want to move but at the same time we actually can't really find anything on the market apart from that original house that we liked and I can't bring myself to check whether that house is sold or not because I'm not like in the best mental state this week I've had a few wobbles I'm just like not feeling that great um sort of like mentally and with my confidence but um yeah other than that i'm all right um the house needs tidying today because it's a tip i wanted to stay on top of it when we decided to put the house on the market but then because there's been no interest i haven't been keeping it very clean but yeah so i'm just home from work i'm gonna have a cup of tea and some lunch because i'm starving and then i'm gonna take the dogs out on their daily stroll we had a big long walk yesterday so we're gonna have a short little walk around the block today I'm not sure what I'm gonna have for lunch. Honestly, I look in the mirror and I think, meh, I look okay. And then I start filming and I'm like, wow, <laughs> girl, you look bad. Um, anyway, my mum just texted me, I've had my lunch. My mum just texted me and um, said that she's going around to my nan's house and asked if I wanted to meet them there. Um, and my nan lives literally within like five minutes walking distance from my house, so. I said yes. I debated taking the dogs because my nan loves the dogs and I take them around there occasionally and she really doesn't mind. She loves seeing them. But I don't enjoy myself as much when I take the dogs to someone else's house because I'm constantly watching them like, are they going to pee on the floor? Like, I don't know. And they're just annoying <laughs> to put it simply. So um, I'm going to leave them here and I'm just going to stay at my nan's for a short while and then I will come back and walk them separately but yeah so I'm gonna walk over to my nans to up my step count and yeah catch you in a bit so I'm back again don't mind how terrible I look now on this giant spot that's coming up on my chin but I'm so happy right now um I ended up having a bit of a busier afternoon than anticipated so I didn't film but I got my grade back for my essay. I thought I wasn't getting it back till tomorrow, but I got it back today and I got a first again. Oh my gosh. I honestly like can't believe it because if you go back through my weekly vlogs from September, like when I went back to uni, I was struggling. I felt like I had made a terrible mistake, like a terrible mistake. I felt like I didn't understand anything that was going on. I felt like I wasn't clever enough to be there. 
I felt like I'd been out of uni for far too long and I was actually going to drop out. <laughs> but I forced myself to get to the end of the module and just see how I did and I got a distinction in both essays. I honestly can't believe it and I feel like if I can get a distinction in those essays I can do it if I work hard enough in this next essay because this is on a topic that I enjoy much more. I honestly just can't believe it. I'm so happy. Like I almost cried a little bit when I found out <laughs> because I'm just so happy and so proud. So yay. Yay. So I've just opened my um, post and I got this cute sausage dog card from my friend Jamie and she sent me one of her helpers passes for crafts so I can go to crafts. Yay! It's the 8th to the 11th of March. I think she's going on the, uh, the Friday and the Sunday. I want to go on the Sunday because I want to be able to shop, but, um, and it'll be nice to be able to see her and hang out, obviously. But Mother's Day is the Sunday and I feel kind of bad going away for the day on Mother's Day, so I'll have to see what my mum is doing. Hi, I've popped you in the cupboard again for the second time in this vlog just because I wanted to have a chat and I didn't want to have to be like holding the phone for ages. So you're in the cupboard. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I was just thinking on the way home um, how I feel really like restless at the moment and I feel like I'm not really doing anything. Um, and I've spoken to my boyfriend about this a lot because he often feels the same way. He's very like adventurous, he's travelled um, a lot. Um, when he was sort of like my age and a bit younger he travelled a lot. And um, like when we'd been together a year and a half he went to Africa so and like climbed Kilimanjaro, he's done a ton of stuff. And I haven't done as much but I do like to travel, I like to go on holiday and things. And at the moment I feel a bit like restless, like I really want to go somewhere, <laughs> even if it's just in the UK, I really want to go somewhere. But with us trying to sell the house at the moment, we can't really go on a big holiday or anything. Um, and Will has said that even if we do sell the house, um, we might be able to go to Wales this year because like the Brecon Beacons and everything, we both would really like to go hiking there. And um, there's something else he wants to do there, I can't remember, but I don't know why I'm like rambling about this. This is totally not what I meant to be talking about. Anyway, I was thinking on the way home that everyone gets into these ruts and I feel like I'm in a bit of a rut at the moment. I'm not necessarily unhappy at all, um, but I just feel stuck. I feel like my life is sort of like going by so quickly. The days feel long. It's like that saying, the days are long, but the years are short. And the older I get, the more I totally agree with that. I just feel like my life is just going by so quickly and I'm not really doing much. I feel like these are the years, you know, before we have kids that we should be traveling and um, experiencing all these things together. And we have been on holidays together and everything, but money always gets in the way like I don't have the money to travel and Will can't afford to keep paying for us both to go on holiday so it's difficult but even like little experiences I just feel like I'm not doing enough and I think it's part of the reason I feel like this now is because my boyfriend is turning 30 this year and I'm turning 24 and I remember when we first met I was 18 and he was 24 and I remember saying to him, we'd have to be together for more than five years before I'll be the same age that you are now. And now I am, like this year, I'm gonna be 24 and he's gonna be 30. And I just feel like, you know, like these are the best years of our lives. We should really be out doing stuff. And so for his 30th birthday, he doesn't want a party and he doesn't really know what he wants in terms of like gifts and anything he wants he just buys for himself so I'm thinking of maybe booking us like a secret city break so maybe giving him clues and he has to figure out where we're going um, or just literally driving us to the airport and he has no idea where we're going um, I would love to do that so I'm not I'm not sure yet but I've been looking at um, city breaks and it's really expensive <laughs> around his birthday so I don't know um, I don't really know like if I'm going to be able to pull it off but I'm going to try my best and um, yeah like it would be exciting to be able to do that I just want to do something I think because he gets annoyed at me because I'm always in a rush like I want to get engaged I want to get married like and all that sort of thing 
And I think part of it is just I feel like I'm not doing anything and I just want something exciting <laughs> to happen. Um, so I don't know what the point of this ramble was. I just wanted to tell you about my plans for Will's birthday. <laughs> We have ventured out of the house. We're just going on a little walk around the block because it's very, very cold. Winnie's walking nicely as always. Archie not so much as always. Yeah, we're just gonna go around the block because it's so cold. Normally we go to the woods on a Thursday, but I can't be bothered to dig all of my walking clothes out of the wash i realized that all of my leggings and jeans and everything were in the wash and that's what i need to go to the woods so we're just having a little walk around the block instead aren't we guys so cute hey guys i'm just getting ready to go to work it's friday i know i've looked like this all week I just haven't really been bothered this week and I, I think I'm coming down with something which might explain why I've had a bit of a low mood all week um, and feeling a bit rubbish but I woke up at 3am this morning and couldn't get back to sleep so I've been up for a while, I feel really tired, I'm very glad it's Friday today and I was looking at some more holidays because obviously I said to you guys I'm hoping to book like a secret getaway for my boyfriend's 30th birthday. But then I remembered that he has to ask for time off in advance, like really far in advance, and he can never really get time off at the beginning or end of a month. So now I'm like, hmm, this really limits when I can book something for and like where I can book, because if we go sort of mid-August, because his birthday is the 8th of August, um, it's gonna be very hot in a lot of places, which I don't cope with, and it's gonna be very expensive. So I'm just, thinking about my options but yeah I need to get off to work now and I'll see you later Archie's recall is a bit shocking today he's just off on a jolly little monkey Winnie's on the lead as always because her recall is always bad oh hi baby you coming back for once? Oh, come on then. We're on our way back and he can smell the treats that I dropped earlier. Come on. What are you doing? Did you slip? He is just on one today. Hi! Hi, you want a treat? It's another beautiful sunny morning. 